Welcome to another episode of Viatorian Voices, where our conversations on the way give witness to the ministry and spirituality of walking with youth and those who go underserved. In this episode, we're live, sort of, from the 2024 Viatorian Provincial Assembly. Once a year, Viatorian brothers, priests, and associates gather in one of our regions. This assembly is a mix of information and updates, consultative discussions to inform our congregation's leadership, the undertaking of faith formation as a community, and a sharing in fellowship, including the celebration of associates' new commitments and recommitments and anniversaries, and the jubilees of our professed men. This year, we gather in Las Vegas, including visits to our parish, St. Vider Catholic Community, and our school, Cristo Rey St. Vider College Prep. I'm Associate Dan Masterton, and I'm your host for this episode. During day one of assembly, I made the rounds and invited Viatorians to share a quick moment's reflection on our Viatorian life. You'll hear live check-ins with a mix of lay women and men associates, brothers, and priests, each with meaningful experience and reflections of the Viatorian charism and community life. After you enjoy this episode, help us tell the Viatorian story by rating our podcast in your favorite app, sending this episode link to a friend, and praying for and encouraging young men considering Viatorian religious life. Enjoy! Hello, my name is Brother Michael Gosh, and I've been a Viatorian brother, obviously, for... 46 years. One thing I would like the one thing I would like people to know about the Viatorian community is that we're a committed group of lay and professed, ordained and non-ordained women and men, committed to the gospel message of Jesus Christ, and committed to reading the signs of the time and responding to and accompanying people where they are at. Hi, my name is Ann Perez, and I've been a Viatorian associate for the last six years. One crucial thing about the Viatorians that off, they offer the church in our world is that it's a place for people to grow in their spirituality, to help then serve the community around them by looking out for those who are in need, especially those who are marginalized and those who are counted of little importance. The Viatorians build up communities where we can live our faith and we can celebrate our faith with everyone around us. Hello, my name is Dan Bellinger, and I have been a Viatorian for 27 years. The thing I find interesting about the Viatorians is that it's a crucial thing of how we are with the sign of the times in the church. The men that I've worked with adapt, and they just have this general sense of working with Christ and making things relatable to the youth of today. Hello, my name is Jason Nesbitt, and I have been a Viatorian for 21 years and a priest for 13 years, going on 14. And um, a crucial things that, thing that Viatorians offer our church and our world is I believe that Viatorians meet people where they are and walk with people on their faith journey. Okay, hello, my name is Giovanni Ordus, and I have been a Viatorian for, I think, that more than 10 years. I will ask or to tell young men to consider religious life because living religious life is something that has changed my life and the life of so many men around the world. And we are here to serve the church in a different way. We are invited to pursue Jesus Christ in our vows, but we are also invited to try to help people to engage with their personal vocations in life. Hello, my name is John Eustace and I'm a Viatorian priest. I've been a Viatorian for 19 years and young men should consider joining religious life with the Viatorians because first of all, you'll never guess what's going to happen, but it's fun. It's a great way to live in community and a wonderful way to serve the world. Well, my name is Julianne Dwyer, and I've been a Viatorian associate for 15 years. One thing I would like people to know about the Viatorian community it is that it is a welcoming, uh, beautiful community made up of professed and lay people that are willing to be there to follow Cur- Father Curbs' way in helping those of little importance, being, being uh, um, ministering yeah, to the altar, people. and to also... Um, helping youth in their formation. Um, It's a blessed community and I welcome you to join. Hello, my name is Karen Cutler and I've been a Viatorian since 2006, so that's 18 years. Um, 
And one thing that I want people to know about the Viatorian community is that they're very inclusive of everyone. That was one of the things that drew me to them. They, you know, they honor and invite women to be a part of the church, which, you know, a lot of, a lot of places don't. So that's one of the things that, that I think is a plus about the Viatorian community. Hello, my name is Kai Guerrero, and I have been a Viatorian for associate for four years. Um, one thing I want people to know about the Viatorian community is that you will always be treated like this is our home. Hello, my name is Mark Innocent Prophet. I have been a Viatorian six years ago. A crucial thing that Viatorians offer our church and our world is the passion to serve the young people and to make the community uh, of faith uh, happiness. Thank you. Hi, my name is Mark Francis. I've been a Viatorian for 42 years. And a crucial thing that Viatorians offer our church and our world is an aspect of, of community that I think many Christians don't have. Uh, the inner relationships that we develop within the community is something that enables us to carry on our mission and to proclaim Jesus' good news. And so for that reason, I would encourage people to consider the Viatorians. My name is Father Pat Render. I've been a Viatorian for 64 years. Uh, a crucial thing about Viatorians that offer our church and our world is I think that we sense that we have a message of hope and a message of possibility that firms and kind of strengthens people in the ordinary circumstances of their lives. Hello everybody, my name is Patrick Eller and I have been a Viatorian associate for officially zero years, but if you ask me in about five hours, this will be the first of many years to come. One thing I want people to know about the Viatorian community is, is we are here, there, and everywhere all across the world. Uh, we are not only based here in the United States, but um, other parts of Latin America, as well as in Europe and in Asia. Hi, my name is Dan Masterton, and I've been a Viatorian associate for just a few hours now. And a crucial thing that Viatorians offer our church and our world is an authentic experience of church life well lived I think of a lot of friends and people I've known who maybe consider themselves lapsed Catholics or don't think of themselves as practicing Catholics. And I think a lot of times it comes from not having a healthy, positive experience of church life. And I think because of the authenticity and relatability of our brothers and priests and the way that they're legitimately and authentically committed to collaborating with lay men and women, you find a positive example of church life that keeps you coming back and wanting to deepen your relationship with Christ and your faith, and hopefully becomes a way that we encourage and invite others to join with us, and we continue to spread this. Hello, my name is Peter, and I have been a Viatorian brother for 10 years. Young men should consider religious life with the Viatorians because we're authentic. We live uh, the vows, and we follow Christ. Um, in a way that's truly rooted in the gospel. Um, and we truly intend in every facet of our lives to make the gospel the singular focus of our life. A crucial thing that Viatorians offer our church and our world is we have every single vocation in the Viatorian community. We have lay people, we have professed brothers and priests, we have um, diverse ministers, and we live a model of church that is its future. Hi, my name is Tommy Gugino, and I have been a Viatorian associate for four years. One thing I want people to know about the Viatorian community is how accessible they have been in my life. Uh, they've truly been a part of my faith journey um, throughout my entire life, from baptism up through now in association. They've always been a huge part of my faith journey, and I'm appreciative of them uh, not only walking with me through my journey, but also staying with me through the entire process as well. 
Hi, my name is Rosie and I'm a Viatorian associate for over 10 years. And something that I want the young people to know about the Viatorian community is that you matter. You do have a voice. You are part of the larger community. And keep praying for Father Curbs because we need a miracle so he can be a saint. That's all for this episode of Viatorian Voices. We'd like to congratulate our new associates on making their first commitments and also those associates renewing their commitment to the Viatorians. This assembly included the first commitments of Michelle Aguiar, Patrick Aller, Larry Durso, Mary Ellen Duro, Paul Mertzman, Mary Thompson, and myself. Jen Anderson will also make her first commitment later this month. Additionally, Mickey Pro, Paula Wasser, and Robert and Julie Lampley have recommitted for additional terms as associates. Viatorian Association is the manner in which lay people can discern a call to share in the ministry and community life of the clerics of St. Vider and make a public commitment to live this out as part of our baptismal call and lives of Christian faith and become members of the Viatorian community. Viatorian Voices Conversations on the Way is a production of Viatorian Vocation Ministry. The Viatorians are professed brothers and priests, together with women and men lay associates, who proclaim Jesus Christ and his gospel and raise communities where faith is lived, deepened, and celebrated. In the footsteps of Venerable Louis Curbs and under the patronage of St. Vider, we strive to do everything well so that through us, Jesus may be adored and loved. To learn more about our community, visit viatorians.com or follow us on social media at Viatorian USA. Young adults seeking to connect with faith-filled peers can request to follow at ViatorianYA on the way on Instagram, where our young adult community is building new pathways for walking together in faith. Those seeking support and accompaniment and exploring God's invitation for them are invited to reach out to Vocation Ministry. Send us a DM on social media or email us to start a conversation. Remember, you can help us tell the Viatorian story by rating our podcast in your favorite app, sending this episode link to a friend, and praying for and encouraging young men considering Viatorian religious life. On behalf of Brother Peter and the Viatorian community, I'm Associate Dan Masterton. Venerable Louis Curbs, inspire us. St. Vider, pray for us. Adored and loved be Jesus. Jesus.